In this video, we're going to learn the importance of fonts and how following a couple of basic font rules can really improve the look of your web pages. The first thing I want to look at is this very basic page here. Now, this is just in a Word document. And what I want to illustrate here was when you have a mix of text and you're using text improperly, you have a pretty ugly looking page. Now, what do I mean by a mix of text? Well, let's look at, we have different font or text types here, right? So here we're using uh, Brandish up here. And here we're using Chaparral Display. That's a weird font name. Anyway, and here we set, we've got another font name, another font name. We, if you notice, we have different font sizes. That was 18 here, and this is 16. Uh, point this is all it's all mixed up here and what you can see is that this page is really kind of ugly it's hard to read like this is hard to read and it, it, it makes no sense so what you can take away from this is that you want to keep your fonts consistent in your page so if you have headlines here and they're at 14 point here they should be or 14 pixels rather they should be 14 here and not 18 and 14 and then you know back to 14 is 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 crazy another thing another rule is that you should keep your font types to a minimum so here we're using Arial unicode and Arial, and then here we have font andorra and here we have yet another font andorra again then we're here back to Arial. here we got chaparral display again brandish you get the idea. The old rule of thumb that goes back to actually the print days way before the web is that you should have no more than two font faces on a page. So a font face is like brandish is a font face, right? Up here, brandish. Uh, Arial is a font face. Um, what's down here? Adobe Andorra is a font face. So if let's say you decide you want to create a page, say, okay, all the headlines are going to be Arial. And maybe your body text could be uh, another font face. So no more than two. One is fine as well. So that's the first rule you got to pick up when it comes to fonts on your pages. There are a few other rules, and we'll jump into that. Here's an old archive page from a newsletter I wrote back in, wow, I wrote back in 2003. And we have a lot of pages on killer sites. And so once in a while, I go through it and I check to see how things are looking because we have a lot of legacy stuff, old stuff that uh, was done the old school way. And so I have to go back and see if uh, some, uh, some bad design hasn't crept into the pages. Anyhow, so on this page here, our plain standard layout, you know, doesn't have to be flashy because this is an archive page. You see... A problem with some of the fonts. Now we're only using two font types here, I believe, maybe even one. This looks like uh, Verdana or Tahoma. The problem though is with the headings. Now you see this heading is pretty large and if you look down here this heading is much smaller. Now overall that could be okay because if this is the heading for the entire page, if I can just select this properly, it's no big deal that this is slightly larger and that kind of makes sense. But if you look down here, you notice how I've used uh, basically a sentence case here, right? Uh, how to create flash movies, a sentence case, right? As we would normally write a sentence. Over here though, I don't use a sentence case. I don't capitalize Adobe, which should have been capitalized. So somebody made a mistake there in reskinning this page, but anyway. And then over here, another heading that we have you know, it's, it's all uppercase, right? Here we have mixed case. Here we have all uppercase. Okay, all uppercase, that's consistent. But down here, again, it's mixed or sentence case again, sentence case. This is mixed again. So this inconsistency in the way the fonts were used makes the page less attractive, harder to follow than it would otherwise. So what we're going to do is we're going to just quickly clean up some of these fonts and uh, some of these headlines rather 
and we'll take a look at how the page looks with the fonts fixed up. I've popped open the page in uh, Dreamweaver CS4. Now you can use any uh, text editor you want or web design program you want. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to this page here. Well, I'm going to go to this page and I'm going to clean all these up. I'm going to make them all... Ugh, the selection thing is really pissing me off. I'm going to make them all uppercase as we have with the Adobe Flex. And we're going to see and compare how the the page looks when everything is consistent that way. So through the magic of video, I'm going to spare you having to wait for me uh, make these changes. So I'm going to pause the video. Of course, for you, it's just going to be a split second and we're going to make the changes. So I'll see you soon. Okay, I'm back. I made the changes. It, took, it just took about a minute to do. So here is the original page without the changes. So I'm going to scroll through so you can take a look at it and get a feel for how it looks. And you can see, well, pay attention to these headlines here. And you can see the inconsistencies, whereas, you know, mixed case versus all uppercase, etc. So now let's go to the modified version where I've just changed the cases. You notice now everything's in uppercase with 3D, Swish, Flash, Flax or Flash Text, Flash Animator. The only thing I didn't switch to uppercase is which one to choose, this headline. And the reason I didn't change it is because of the context. What do I mean by that? Well, if you look at all these other headlines, they talk about a product, a particular Flash product, Swift 3D, Swish, Flax, etc. Whereas this one is just basically a close-up of the article where I say which one to choose. This difference between the uh, product names being all uppercase text where capital text, where this is a sentence text, this gives a little bit more information to the guy reading the article, right? Because they can scan, see how Adobe Flex, Adobe Air, Swift 3D Switch. So it's pretty clear that anything that's all upper text like this is a flash based product, which is the key of this article is how to create flash movies. And I talk about the various pieces of software that you have available. So not only does a consistent font pattern make the page just look cleaner, if you can look at this, how it's very clean. And when you see this change here, you know all of a sudden you're not talking, it's something different. You're not just talking about different products. So not only does the consistent use of font headings and the way you use the fonts make the page nicer to look at, more legible, it actually helps convey the message of the page. So if we go back and compare our original, you can see how it's a little bit more difficult to read and understand. So what you should take away from this video is that when you're creating your pages, you want to use your fonts consistently, not just in terms of the titles, but in terms of the paragraphs as well. You want to make sure that uh, you don't have no more than two font faces, two font styles, on a single page. And I actually would extend this to a great degree across the entire site. The look of the site and the consistency of the site is greatly affected by the consistency and the use of fonts in your page.